Hey everyone, it's Tori. Welcome back to another video here at my channel. Today I am going to be sharing a recent purchase from Monarch Lacquer. I happened to be on her website and I'm not sure what I was looking for the other day, but I noticed that she had a discount going on for green polishes on her site that was 25% off. It is still going on at the time of filming this. I'm not sure when this video will go up though, so it may not be available at the time that you see this. But anyway, um, I picked up three polishes that are in the green category. The other ones really spoke to me, the ones that I had really been wanting. A couple of these are brand new to her site. I got some shimmers, reflective glitters, we've got creams in here, the whole works. So let's go ahead and just get into it. I am going to start off with this one. This is Icy Meadow. This is a beautiful shade of polish. I was on the fence about this one initially. It is a light green base. It's reflective glitter as you could see on camera. You also have some color shifts here that are blue to purple. I was not sure about this polish, but I wore this recently over a manicure that I just took off. I was going through with a couple of these polishes going over the base color that I had on and you guys, this polish looks stunning over a green base, just FYI. This is such a beautiful polish. I am so glad I picked it up. I'm glad I got it because wearing it over top of a base color absolutely floored me. If you're new to Monarch Lacquer, one thing I like about this brand is the packaging. Her brushes are phenomenal. Her brushes are phenomenal. If you are like me and you like the rounded paddle brushes, she offers these with her polishes. So we're going to swatch this one by itself, and then I do have a black cream swatched next to this that we're going to go ahead and swatch this over here in just a second. So that is Icy Meadow in one coat. Let's see what it looks like over black. I think on camera here you can really see the reflective glitter, you can see the green shimmer, the blue shimmer, all kinds of goodness. Oh wow. I have not swatched it over black yet, just over green, and I was floored by how beautiful this looked. This is going to be a textured polish, so keep that in mind. You will want a good amount of top coat or a glitter grabber top coat. You can already see it's drying down to a textured finish, which usually I'm not all about, but once you put a top coat over it or a glitter grabbing top coat and then a quick dry top coat, it smooths this out really well. Next one is this gorgeous shade. This is Crimson Clue. This is a medium red base polish that has red, has orange to gold shifting shimmer in here. I moved myself off to the side. I'm going to insert a comparison of this polish. When I saw this initially, I thought it was very similar to perhaps a Christmas gourd from Wildflower Lacquer. And as you guys could see by the picture, it is not the same at all. I am so glad I picked this up. And this is stunning. I'm a sucker for polishes like this. It's a little bit like a jelly base. So this one will probably take three coats to build up to full opacity. I did go ahead and throw on a quick second coat of that red polish really really beautiful this is stunning in person it's definitely giving that reddish orange vibe I thought it was going to be a little bit deeper in tone but again this is two coats so I may need to go ahead and build it up in three which I will come back around and do that once this dries the next one that was from the night of mystery collection this is culprit's charm this is a really interesting polish. I was again not on, not necessarily looking at this polish to purchase. I wasn't sure if I wanted this one or not. I mainly went to look at the website for something and I can't remember what it was and I thought, oh, she's having 25% off green polishes for the first couple weeks of March and, you know, here's what I ended up picking up just because of that. But anyway, this is... 
like a pink base. You can already see the glow of green shimmer in here. You've got a hint of blue shimmer here as well. This is a really beautiful polish, one that I probably should stick on my spring rack for 2024. I have not had a chance to do that. I don't like to pull polishes for spring racks or even manicures until I talk about them in a video, but I may have to pull this one. Oh, this is pretty. I feel like with this one, I would probably put it over a base color. I know over like a black or a deeper base, you're going to get predominantly that shift in shimmer for sure. But this is really pretty on its own. I did go ahead and add additional coats to these first couple polishes. So we have two coats of this first one that we talked about, which is Icy Meadow. I added a second coat, or third coat, to this polish called... Crimson Clue. And then I did do a second coat of this polish called Culprit's Charm. So the next polish is part of the Night of Mystery collection. This is called Emerald Alibi. This polish has been speaking to me and has been on my list to pick up for a while since it released. This is an emerald base. You've got holographic glitter in here. There is color shifts here. I think you might be able to see it here in the bottle. You're getting a blue to purple shimmer in this as well. Such a beautiful polish. Look at this gorgeous green. It's in a little bit of a squishy base, but you could see here that it's building up beautifully just in that first coat. I quickly threw on a second coat of Emerald Alibi, and it is very opaque in that second coat. Next one was also part of the Night of Mystery collection. This is Mistletoe and Merlot. This is like a Merlot base and you can already see that fiery red to gold to orange shimmer in here. This one I feel like is going to be a stunner. I haven't swatched to this one. I think my husband picked this. I don't think I did. I'm almost certain he picked this one. This is beautiful, but I've mentioned it before. This is a brand that I absolutely adore and will continue to purchase from because she just does amazing polishes. This definitely has a deep berry base upon first coat. I am so excited to see what this looks like build up. I went ahead and applied a second coat of Merl Mistletoe Merlot. The glow just gets better with this polish. This is so beautiful. I couldn't find a black swatch stick either. I'm not sure what I did with my black swatch sticks, so I did just go ahead and do a swatch of a black polish. But look at the glow on that. You even have a hint of pink in this polish as well. This is so, so gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and do it. A coat over this black polish. Now keep in mind this will probably pick up a lot of that shimmer. Oh wow. That is stunning. That is so pretty. It changes it up just ever so slightly but in my opinion it definitely gives it a darker vampier vibe than it does by itself. It just brings it to life with that darker base. Either way though, this is probably one of my favorites from this fall. This is stunning. The final one from this collection is this blue. This is called Polar Playground. This is almost like a aqua tealy leaning shimmer and then you've got a glow of green shift in this polish as well. This is pretty. You could even put this probably over a similar base color. It's a little bit more sparse in that first coat. So it is a full-on shimmer polish, as you could see here in that first layer. I'm going to quickly go in for a second coat of this blue. I'm going to put it over a black as well. I have to wait for that swatch to dry. This is pretty. A little different than I initially saw it being. I thought this was going to be 
I'm not sure. I don't know what I thought about this polish. I love it. I feel like it's more of a larger particle shimmer. It's definitely very sparkly in person. Not sure if it's coming off accurate on camera. I am going to go in over a black just to see what it looks like. And I have a feeling this is going to be beautiful over black. Oh yeah. You get a more opaque manicure here. Sorry about that, it wasn't in frame. Yeah, you definitely get a more opaque finish with this when you put it over a base color. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like it's gorgeous over a black. That would probably be what I would do for personal manicure use. Down to two more, and these are two new creams that she recently launched. If you're unfamiliar, her creams are by far one of my favorites. They are $10 straight across the board. So I did pick up two new ones to add to my collection that I do not currently have. She did just come out with a couple of these. This green one at the time of filming this is part of the 25% off sale, as are a couple of the other polishes we talked about, and I will list those down below. So the first one we have is this one called Leapfrog, and this is a Hunter Green Cream. Glance at the brush. This does have a funky little bristle there, but I'll fix that. It's just, everything's perfect about her brushes. She just, everything is amazing. This is a little bit squishy on that first coat. So this one, in my opinion, won't be a one-coater. Some of her creams that I've used are solid one coaters. You are probably going to be better off doing two just for full opacity purposes. I went in with a second coat of that Hunter Green off camera. It builds up really well in that second coat. They are beautiful. These are stunning. Absolutely stunning polishes. So we have one more to share with you. This is a purple cream. This one is Hip Vine. This is a grape cream polish. She has launched a few new ones and I wanted to get my hands on these so I took the opportunity. This one's a little bit squishy as well. More squishy than some of my other ones. Some of the other polishes that I have are like one to two coaters. I feel like this one may be three. There is Hip Vine in two coats. Builds up beautifully in that second coat. Each of these leveled out nicely. They are very, very close to being opaque. The purple one may need a third coat. Looking at it right now, though, I feel like it's opaque in person. So that is it, everybody. That's my little Monarch Lacquer haul. I will list everything down in the description box. If you have any questions on the brand, let me know down below. I will be happy to answer any questions you have. I will also list their Instagram page. She does do Mix It Mondays. On Mondays, she makes new polishes. If you name a polish and she chooses the name that you picked, you will get a free bottle of polish. So again, I'll list everything down in the description box for this brand, the website, the polishes, the Instagram account, and you can go check them out for yourself if you're new to this brand. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I upload videos every single week talking all about nail polish, and I would love to have you join my channel. Hope you have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you later.